in this lesson, Sizo Besi discuss our depreciation. Depreciation, it's one of the concepts of Komele Swa discuss in financial mathematics grade 11. In the description box, Sizo Tolama links for other recordings in Wainzile related to financial mathematics grade 11. Thanks for tuning in. Now, depreciation. What is depreciation? Depreciation, it's when you buy an item, a laptop, a car, um, a fax machine, a printing machine, then over time, leo item o itengile iluza i value over time. Ia city ia depreciator in value. So, in this lesson, it's all kombisa oguti the depreciated value of the item we take we calculate again that depreciation value. Sometimes that value, that depreciated value, see, 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 scrap value or the book value. For example, in taking laptop, you a thousand rand. After four years, the va the market value for that laptop it goes down to four hundred and forty and three cents this is what we call the scrap value or the book value so this is the present value the present value the value or tenga ile mali or tenga ngayo that laptop so it depreciation is calculated as in lazy two the first one it's the linear or straight line depreciation see calculator using this formula le where A represents a book or a scrap value, P the present value, I is the depreciation rate, N it's the time period. Reducing balance depreciation, it's the second type of a depreciation calculation. Book um, A the book value, P present value, I interest rate, N time value. So these va these variables are the same as above. Why do we call this a straight line or a linear depreciation? So if, for example, I wear, just like the example here to a laptop, it's over four, it's over a period of four years. If for every single year in a calculator, the, depre the depreciation value or the scrap value or the book value, it graphiamizo ends are so, up until to a point where a value for that laptop is a figure it's a straight line over if you were to plot every every instant of the depreciation period we will tell a straight line like this one where the x-axis represents time in years and then the y-axis represents the value in run in in rents the currents in rent the value lapa. then the reducing balance you are going to obtain a graph nyana a song at it's a parabola nyana so right um it's like a para a, para, a, a parabolic shape i think some we sketch something like this something like this uh-huh uh-huh now Lana now s since so the idea nga, nga ga, nga ma types of depreciation the linear and the reducing balance now nizo tata uh, my examples are few where I show you how to use the formula the straight line the reducing balance check now okay I started this example what you Nelson buys a car for 160,000 rent um, this it's the present value it's the purchasing price right the present value it's the purchasing price the car depreciates at the rate of 11 percent this is i what is the car worth after six years this is n if the depreciation is calculated using the straight line method b using the reducing balance method so for a it's the straight line so a is equal to so no calculator the depreciated um, value so so calculate to a the scrap value the depreciated value it's the scrap value a p one not plus it's minus i 
times n. P, what's the value for P? 160,000, 1 minus interest rate to 0, 0,11 times the number of years, it's 6 years. So, now, then we calculate, then see a calculator, 160,000, 1 minus 0, 0,11 times 6, close bracket. So the value for this car using a straight line method it's 54,400 rand. This is our answer again. Okay. P reducing balance method. A equal to P I minus I raised to exponent N 160 1 2 3 1 minus 0 comma 11 raised to exponent 6. So Lana, like this, raised to exponent 6 equal to 79,000. 79,517, comma, 0, 1. 0, 1. So for the same period of years, 6 years, 6 years, we are going to reducing balance. If it depreciation is calculated on a straight line method. It loses a value quick, but when calculated using the reducing balance method, it loses a value slow. Yes? So sometimes you might be required to calculate the value of P. Sometimes you might be required to calculate the value of I. Sometimes you might be required to calculate the value of N for both of these equations so you need to know how to manipulate the equation so that to make any of the other variables the subject of the formula so let's take another example where we calculate other values or variables on the equation okay now now any example where we calculate the original price we have to calculate the original price mind you we have to calculate ubani up we have to calculate to P the original price of a computer if the depreciated value after five years N is 1,200. So this is the depreciated, this is the scrap value, 1,200. The rate of depreciation is ILA. Now, 13% per annum calculated using A. So A is equal to, for the straight line, it's 1 minus i times n we have to calculate what p so let us substitute the, the, the script value 1200 p unknown 1 minus i 0 comma 13 times what's the value for n it's five years then p was over equal to over your at third step by step Divide both sides by 1 minus 1, 1,3 times 5. 1 minus 0, 0,13. 5. La. Cancel, cancel. Therefore, P is over equal to 1,200. 1 minus 0, 0,13 times 5 years. <coughs> So the original price was 3428, 3428, 57, 57. So B, for B, A is equal to P, 1 minus I raised to exponent N. So it's 1200, P unknown, 1 minus I, 0, 0,13 raised to exponent n which is five years so p we have equal to 1200 over 1 minus 0 comma 1 3 so making five five not three in tatabu three oh jesus oh jesus okay now nice. okay okay so is it 1200 
divided by 1 minus 0, 0,13 raised to exponent 5. Answer, 2,000, 2,400. So P is equal to 2,407. What's happening? Now? Six zero in two decimal places. So this is our answer. One more problem where we calculate. Uh, okay, start to calculate here. A was a calculator of P. Then this is a calculator one of the two. Get All right. Now, this is a photocopy machine. In this example, it's your calculator. The unknown variable, which is I this time. U N. The value for n, like a grade 11, you don't have the tools to calculate the value of n. Why do I say that? Now, if you calculate the value of n, you need to apply something called ama log or the log definition, which the scope of grade 11 doesn't cover ama logs. So, you need to know how to calculate to a. You need to know how to calculate P from the formula. You also need to know how to calculate U I. Yes, U N. When I'm calculating a grade 11, I mean grade 12, that's where you'll be covering ama logs. So this is the last example of the CN. A photocopy machine cost 40,000 rand. Purchasing price P has a scrap value of. 8,000 rand after 8 years and find the annual rate of depreciation if it is calculated using straight line method like A so, so T A equal to P 1 minus I or oh, straight line so it's times N 8,000 equal to P 40,000 1 minus I times 8. Therefore, so divide up both sides by 40,000, you have about 8,000 divided by 40,000 equal to 1 minus I times 8. Is an up. And then we transpose this to the right, to the left, this to the this to the left, this to the right. So you have about I8 1 minus 8,000 divided by 40,000. Answer you to go by Ubani. So 1 minus 8,000 divided by 40,000 equal to divide by 8. Answer it's 1 over 10, which is 0, 0,1. So I equal to 0, 0,1 then we multiply by 100 since ui is a percentage we multiply by 100 is equal to 10 percent now answer it okay then we do the same for b a equal to p in bracket it's 1 minus i raised to exponent n o a u a thousand forty thousand then it's 1 minus i unknown then it's 8 therefore it's going to be 8000 divided by 40000 equal to 1 minus i raised to exponent 8 hmm. or oh, raised to exponent 8 okay okay now seeing i want and i'm never confused again Saying about confused again. Okay, I wanna say yeah, pick your man. One minus i raised to exponent eight. Now since we've now bani, u i and u i will go pung a paratwale square root less. I mean paratwale bracket. We apply the eighth root so that si remove lo eight lo exponent eight. So it's eighth root la. Le cancel a le usala one minus i. 8 root 8000 divided by 40,000. Maybe transpose again. I will have 
1 minus 8 root 8000 divided by 40,000. If this this exponent be 5, be so far fifth root. If it was 4, be so far fourth root. If it was 2, be so far square root. So now CT1 minus shift Sinchella CT8 root 8000. 40,000, 1, 2, 3, equal to 0,8, I mean, 0,1822. Yeah, 22. So therefore, we times by 100, times are by 100, 18,022. So the interest rate is 18,22%. So this concludes our video. This is it about the depreciation. You need to know how to calculate this, as well as this, as well as this. This anyege bagbus baba batu calculate ngaba involve ama logs. I hope we enjoy it. In the description box, there's more content on ibugela regarding e financial maths grade eleven. So this concludes our lesson. I hope we enjoy it. Asponane on the next video. Bye bye.